representing the 27 to 32 foot class in the center console category. The Seafox 288 Commander has an overall length of 28 feet, a beam of 9 feet 8 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Built for open water performance, she has a draft of 18 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 6,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 185 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Okay, team, we've had Sea Fox on the show before, but not since I've been here. I'm really excited to have him back. We're on the Sea Fox 288 Commander. What do you think, man? I got excited the minute I walked down the dock. First off, nothing dampens the enthusiasm of an earlier morning fishing trip, and I immediately found out I can store all the tackle I need for whatever we run up against. Where are you going this morning? I don't care. This boat's ready to fish. All right, I know you guys are excited for fishing, but I'm actually really excited to go to the sandbar today. This boat looks like it's going to have a great setup for lunch. So if fishing gets slow, we can go to the sandbar early today. Ain't gonna happen, honey. Ain't gonna be no slow fishing today on the Sea Fox. Okay. First order of business on the day we sailed with the 288 Commander from Sea Fox was getting bait. Now we got lucky on this day. We caught the bait guy getting ready to call it a day. And he was about to unload all the pilchers that he had. The two live wells that we have on this boat, a 45 and a 30, 75 gallons is a lot of capacity. Well, he buried us in pilchers and those live wells had no problem keeping up with that demand. One of the first things I always look at is the hole shot and how fast to plane on a boat. Now this boat jumped immediately out of the hole, got us up to a low 30s cruise speed at 3200 RPMs, which is pretty impressive in itself. And 1.7 to 1.8 mile per gallon economy is really, really good for a boat going this fast at this size. I was really impressed at the end of the ride when we got where we were going. We had covered quite a bit of water running offshore and every one of the baits was doing really, really well when we got there, and here's the reason why. The Sea Fox 288's wells are pressurized. All right, that means that the water doesn't slosh around while you're running. Turned out to be a huge factor when we slowed down, the baits still look like a million bucks. We could see through the aquarium windows in them and keep track of how many baits we were taking out of each well, a very well thought out live bait fishing system. George, I really kind of like the way she's laying out here. I like the boat's attitude. We're, we're not rolling. We're laying in the trough. How do you like the drift? Stability wise, it's great. You know what? That brings up an interesting point. You know, a lot of center console designs, Rick, are really kind of laid out to where you're always going to find yourself drifting down sea. When I say down sea, it wants to take a downhill tack and that's going to bring all your drift lines back behind the boat. Well, this boat, by trimming the motors up, it's easy enough for us to get in the trough and we can actually manipulate our angle just by adding a little trim down, put some of the motor in the water, it'll turn the boat one way or another, and really find the sweet spot there. It's very comfortable. God, I tell you what, I could build every kind of leader I could think of trying to get a fish to bite because of Sea Fox's tackle center. It's right there in the cockpit where I want to be anyway. I could drop the door to it. Here's every leader spool you'll ever want. Here's trays for every hook, every rig, every lure, right there in front of you. You never left the pit. So what was special about this Sea Fox to me was the entire bow area. Not only did we have great bow seating, we also had an easy access to a table to set up for lunch. Plenty of room to move around this table. You know when you go to a restaurant and you're in a booth and you feel a little squished? You didn't feel that way at all. They really did a good design with the table and the seating around it. But another great feature that I want to just step on real quick is the lounge seating. There was storage under it, and this tells you how big it is. I had my entire Yeti cooler in there, my dive bag, my beach bag, everything I needed for the day actually fit in that compartment right up at the bow. I could not ask for a better setup. Every year, all your boat builders really are getting better at creature comforts and family features. Well, Sea Fox took it to a new level. The aft-facing scallop seating they had up in the bow and the bow facing seating that they had made it possible for Lori and I to sit all the way up front and be very comfortable on a ride home. So I was super surprised when I opened up the console today. There was six feet of headroom inside the console. Not only that, but we had a full head and sink. Sea Fox has been around a long time. They've been building boats for decades. And let me tell you something, if you haven't ridden on the new ones, you need to. They have never stopped evolving. Every year, the hulls they bring us ride better. If you haven't checked out the Sea Fox 288 Commander, take a ride soon. Man, that was a tough day of fishing. I tell you what, it's our fault. The boat certainly did its part. This boat is laid out perfectly for multiple kinds of fishing. 
you know what guys the fishing was bad but i gotta tell you 10 hours on this boat today every time i turned my head i found another feature and i said man they utilized every bit of this boat they sure did laura you know what we had tough conditions rick you're right i mean we had cold water, we had south tide, the fishing was really disappointing. It was about 100 degrees out, that was disappointing too, but you know the one thing that didn't disappoint me? This Sea Fox 288 Commander, it definitely did its part today.